Hi, in this video I'll be demonstrating putting the SQL distributor on a different an instance of SQL Server. So in production, when you're doing replication, you really want the distributor on a different server for performance reasons. Um, so I'm going to have the distributor here uh, called Soundwave uh, Server slash distributor, and then the publisher is going to be here. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to replication and I'm gonna say configure distribution and before I before I started doing this distribution wizard I set up a share here where I'm gonna put all my replication data so it's gonna be under the network share replication root so I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna select use the following server or um, I'm going to select uh, will act as its own distributor and I'm going to paste my location here for the distribution data and the replication data along with where the snapshot data is going to actually be and the database I'm just going to leave it as the default the distribution and that's going to actually appear in your system databases so just to double check okay that looks good and I'm just gonna hit finish okay so let me double check here I'm gonna refresh my databases under my distributor and the distribution databases there so it's all set up now I have to register my publisher so if I go under replication again and I do distributor properties, go under publisher, add SQL Server publisher, and I'm going to log into my publisher, which is SQL 1 here. And I actually have to specify a password for my for connecting to the publisher or a distributor from the publisher. So let me type in my password. So now I could do the distribution. Let me just double check here, make sure my publisher is registered, and it is. And then I'm going to go here to my publisher and I'm actually going to be publishing this replication demo database which has uh, one table in it of uh, 800,000 rows so I'll be demoing that replication there do new publication and I'm going to select I actually have a different distributor so let me log into that distributor and it's going to prompt me for a password which is the same password I supplied before and from this point forward it's just going to be your typical uh, setting up of the transactional replication so um, you, you could either look at my other videos for that or I'll finish up here. I'll try to do it really quickly because I have this covered under uh, some other video that I have on transactional replication. And I'm just gonna do this really quickly. So th that's how you set up a distributor on a different instance of SQL Server and preferably on a different server in production. Uh, so, And you can see here that it actually set up 
another UNC so it's doing the bulk copy here for the snapshot and while it's doing that let me check on something here So I just want to check the status of the snapshot. So a, it uh, got generated 100%. So that's all set. Now I'm gonna do. Now I'm gonna seek go to SQL two, my third instance here. So I have three instances here. The distributor was the distributor, or where the distribution database is, and SQL one was actually where the publication is gonna be. And then, um, so SQL 2 here. So SQL 2 here is where I'm going to be putting my subscription. So the publisher's going to be. SQL 1. So what I'm doing here is uh, simply uh, subscribing to the publication. I'm going to do a pull subscription on each individual server. And again, I have this covered uh, more in depth in uh, one of my other videos. So I'm just gonna go really quickly here. Uh, but typically, I mean, this is uh, how you set up replication using, uh, you know, a different distributor and publisher as your database. So I'm gonna monitor that publication here. And there's that warning sign because it's going to be slow. And uh, my, my server here is actually pretty slow. It's only a uh, Pentium 4. So with, with about 2 gigs of RAM. So, but in general, it, let me look at the database. So if I look at my tables here, the replication demo replica. So it's copied the data. It's copied the table now already. And if I do select count all from employee. It already has a uh, seven hundred thousand rows, and I think that's all I had. Um, let me double check here. So it really already replicated, and if I check my replication, that's right, it finished. So there you go. That's how you do replication uh, using a distributor on a different instance. Uh, thank you for watching.